Well, I thought I would show it off because it's all nice and clean. Two friends of mine came uh, last Sunday afternoon and um, used the uh, mold armor that I bought to help get this cleaned up. And so here it is. I've had this trailer for now two years, been living in it since November of 2022. And so this is kind of an update on where things are right now with it. Of course, you know, when I moved in, I got the deck that you can see here. All right, there you go. And uh, the, the steps I already had, but um, the person who had helped build that up, built up the rails on it and kept the same steps, but then matched the platform for the deck and uh, getting into the home. Uh, matched that up um, and so it's a six by six deck which is just fine for one person and I can fit a couple of people up there if I wanted to I could probably put you know a total of four chairs up there but I got two right now I'm not really excited about the looks of that garbage can but it is a necessity and it's kind that they let me have it up to the doors because it's easier for me to be able to get the trash in and out of it it would be too hard for me to uh, carry that from here to the entrance area and then I do have right there let's see if I can do this that's a rosemary and I love it I'm gonna to try to see if I can bring that in the house I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that for the winter um, we'll see about that in a little bit um, and then over here and the two white planters, one there and one there, let me see. Um, those are citronella plants. And then on each side of them are gray planters. Um, each of those planters has peppermint. And in the center is another of the white planter boxes. Um, you can't really see it because I have this cast iron um, it was used for inside a fireplace. I can't remember what the name of the thing is, but it's cast iron. Uh, rested from the uh, elements, but it's ni nice looking. It's holding a planter for flowers in it. I didn't do that this year. Um, I've had a lot more challenges with my physical abilities this year. But then, but in that planter, I'm sorry, is a... Um, Hi, I'm sorry, hydrangea, yeah, that a friend had given to me. And um, at first I didn't get it in the ground right away. It didn't do real good, but it's doing okay now. But it does look like it's got some bugs. I need to try to address that. I probably will see how I can protect that for the winter. I'm not going to be able to bring it inside. I have, you know, just too many uh, things inside. And so then I have my hosta plant, which I absolutely love. Just, it keeps coming back year after year. Um, this one over here is just a bunch of junk, but um, just weeds. Um, somebody said that there's, um, what is it? I don't know. Anyway, that doesn't matter. <laughs> but it's looking, it's looking really, really good on the outside. Ooh, there's a hummingbird right coming right up. Let's see if I can get up close enough for you to see it. And hold still. There, see? The hummingbird. One little lone hummingbird. Probably on its way to Mexico, but it's nice that it stopped at my little place. And off it goes. And let me get this back to where I had it. Alrighty then. There we go. But that part of it is looking really good. And I do have some new lights outside. There's been a few updates on the outside. Um, and so that's going to be it for today. Just to, to give you an idea that things are still moving along. I have a lot more to do, but more on the inside. And uh, so this is so nice to have it looking brand new in so many ways it's just so nice and clean and even the awning uh, cover is really really clean um, it's gonna definitely need its yearly 
uh, roofing, uh, cleaning and making sure everything is sealed up before it gets to winter, but that'll be within the next month, probably uh, the beginning of October, before I ask um, my friend to come out to do that. And um, I have to make sure I have the finances available to pay him cash for it. But it is so nice and it's just a beautiful day out. This is my free air conditioning time of year. I don't have to have the air conditioning on. That's great. That is just really helping me with my electric bill. And that will help me to put some aside just in case uh, that goes up in the winter time. Uh, last winter it did go up, but it never got over $147. And so if I'm very conservative and watch it closely, I can keep my budget like that too. Anyway, I just thought I would share. I hope everybody's having a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care.